Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge here. For this Foundry quick tip, we're actually revisiting a topic I made a video on just a couple of weeks ago, PDF to Foundry. I know you guys have a long list of topics that you've asked me to make, and I have a long list of topics I'd like to get to, but the advances that were made in this module in the latest release are just too much to ignore. They're also technically secret. This isn't an announced feature, and it may still be under active development. So don't tell anyone, okay? How's my wink look? If you watched the last video, you might recall when I said this. One thing to note is that it will not import the actors. So it'll be up to you in order to add the images to the token. Well, buckle in because past me is now wrong. That's right. The latest version of PDF to Foundry supports placing the actors in the correct locations in the scenes, as well as mapping the images automatically from the adventure. That's right. The last major feature that was missing is now directly included in the module itself. So let me show you how it works. Note, I will be using the Kindled Magic PDF and Adventure to showcase this feature. In the current build of the module, the actors are only set in Kindled Magic, but the plan is to add them to the rest down the line. So I'm going to assume you have PDF to Foundry installed. If you don't, hit pause, go watch my other PDF to Foundry video to show you how it all works. Then come back here and join future me in making fun of past me. OK, so we click PDF importer. We go to choose file and I will navigate to the Kindled Magic book and open the base PDF. I'm going to import PDF, let it loop through and do its thing. Once this is done, let's run it again. And this time we're going to choose the interactive maps PDF in order to get the higher resolution images. I will just note, I've noticed that in the interactive maps PDF, some of the full screen maps are still only a quarter of a page. So unfortunately, they're not as high resolution as I would like for this adventure. Nonetheless, let it do its thing, update the art. We see it's good to go. So now we're at the same place we were in the last video. But there's one key difference. The actors are placed correctly in their scene. OK, so let me go to one of these maps to show off some of the new tokens. Um, I think the tree stump library is a good one to show. So we can see here in the map, all these tokens are placed in the correct rooms and the art is mapped. So let me undo one of these. All right, once here we can see not only are the actors placed in the correct positions, but look at the artwork. It's created token images from the PDF art itself. So if I open this script, script, scrite, hmm, probably script. If I open this script, we can see the full portrait art assigned here in the character sheet and the zoomed in and cropped token art here on the map. Do you have any idea how much time this will save? Every GM knows the workflow of downloading the art, dragging it into the token making application, choosing the border, saving the image, renaming the image from the default image because the websites always give it a generic name, going into Foundry, assigning the image, realizing you accidentally assigned it to an instance of the token and not to the prototype token, selecting the image in the character sheet, dragging it back to the play field, realizing that the image on the token didn't get set because you accidentally only set it on the character sheet, going back to the prototype token, setting the image again, then breathing a sigh of relief when it's all done and realizing you still have 19 more to go for tonight's session. Seriously, it was like living in the dark ages. And it took this age of enlightenment to actually make me realize what I was missing. And I haven't been this excited since I was using Roll20 and my eyes were open to the possibilities of Foundry in the first place. Come here. 
you know what? That's not even everything in the secret update. Seriously, if we stopped right here, we'd already have an award winning update. But let's take a look at the auditorium scene real quick. What you're going to notice is that while the art from Kindled Magic got mapped to the tokens, art for the monsters in the base bestiary doesn't. So we're stuck with these default images. Do you get where I'm going with this? PDF to Foundry will now import your entire bestiary and automatically map it to all the tokens in your compendium. Are you freaking kidding me? Check it out. Go back to the PDF importer. This time for choose file for the source PDF, we're going to point it at the bestiary one PDF. Click import PDF. It will literally map the handout art for every monster in the book. Note there's over 250 to process, so give it some time to complete. So when it's done and I load back into the auditorium, look, the four tokens are now updated with the bestiary one art. And if I go in here and browse in the bestiary one folder that was created, look at all that amazing art sitting there ready to be used. Amazing. And if I go to the bestiary one compendium and I drag these creatures to my scene, well, what do you know? The character art is locked, loaded, ready to go. And just like that, PDF to Foundry will automatically update and use the art if it's already extracted. So long as it exists in the PDF, note that not all the monsters with stats have official art. But in a snap, all my monster art is mapped and ready to go. Did I mention you can actually import Bestiary 2 and 3 as well? This module is now indispensable to all the GMs out there. And it will save us so many man hours no longer stuck doing the same repetitive tasks over and over again. So big thank you to Fry Guy and Timon. If you want to support them, head over to Fry Guy's Patreon, show them some love. Until next time, stay healthy, take care, and don't tell anyone our secrets. Hi, Steve from Recall Knowledge here. If you enjoyed this content, please make sure to like and subscribe down below so you can get notified of more awesome content coming your way. Also, make sure to follow our channel's Twitter at Recall Knowledge for the latest information. Thanks for watching.